Traditionally, if I was going to edit an image, I would have passed it through a lot of softwares to make my work so tedious and have a lot of time wasted on editing. Today's video is all about a one slider solution to most of the issues that are that every every portrait photographer has been facing. I'm a portrait photographer and I enjoy or I've enjoyed using this particular software for over one and a half months now. I bought it myself before they reached out to me. So if you've if you've picked on this, this is a video sponsored by Evoto AI. Evoto AI is a next generation AI software, photo editor software that's really good with retouching images as quickly as possible. So there's an increase in speed, there's an increase in accuracy, and you have quality images even coming out from this particular AI software. It's a standalone AI editing software as compared to other softwares where probably there are plugins to other editing software. So I'm going to touch on a few things that I have enjoyed using here in Evoto AI, and I've created some of my images from back in the day and even some recent ones to show you how effective Evoto AI is. So I'm going to drop this whole folder here by importing the images, All right? And we'll jump right into that. So I think it's loading and this is what Evoto, this is the interface you get when you enter into Evoto by exporting your footages in here. So before I jump into today's video, please subscribe, please like, please share. And let's just get into what we have to do. I want to touch on a few things. The very first thing I want to do is to go into my color adjustment. Any traditional editing software has all these things in here, right? Your basic adjustments, you can go into curves, HSL, color grading, and whatnot, as you can see over here. So you can manually adjust them to fit your kind of style. Also, Evoto AI has provided AI color adjustments and I have toggled through all these and I think now blue film for this particular image is my favorite just because it brings out the blueness in the hair, the blueness in the outfit, it brightens the background for me and it makes my subject stand out. If I don't want too much of it, I can reduce how much of the film look I want. I'm going to release this back to 100 and basically come into my basic adjustment, reduce the exposure a little bit and the shadows a little bit also for me to have this. I'm going to crop this to size, just like any traditional editing software has. You have that also here in Evoto AI. And I have my image looking like this. So this is before and after before and after there are more things i can do to this to make it look more natural to make it look my kind of edit so i'm going to leave this here and let's jump into our next topic which will be under portrait retouching under portrait retouching we are looking at things that should make portrait retouching very easy things like blemish removal things like smile line removal things like dark circles removal things like eye whitening eye retouching I am going to show you all that here with just a push of a slider. When I move this freckle and acne all the way to 100, and for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to keep everything at 100 today. Take a look at this. This is the before and this is the after. Before and after. Let me zoom in to 50%. Before and after. Before and after. I remember when I was working on this image in 2019, it took me a long while to get rid of all these blemishes before and after. This is how fast, how easy, how quick Evoto AI is with blemish removal. And you still maintain your textures as you saw earlier. So let's move this to 100 again. And there you have that. Your textures are still intact there's no weird looking blemish removal technique going on over here let's hit fix so i'm going to add a few other things like neck wrink wrinkle removal i'm going to remove any eye wrinkle i'm going to remove dark circles you guys know I'm a natural port, um, beauty researcher and also a natural portrait researcher, so I don't go too much on certain things. But for this, because of the tutorial, I have this 100 just to show you how effective 
that is. For the remaining ones, I'm going to send the neck all the way up here. So take a look at this. It removed the neck wrinkle. The forehead, is there any wrinkle on the forehead? There's none. For face shine removal, I'm going to push this 100 so that you see what it's doing. It removed the face shine, but then it takes away how authentic the face is looking. So I'm going to bring it back to saying 35 should be fine for me. So I like where this is at currently. I'm going to go next into skin retouching. Under the skin retouching function, we can see smooth face skin which is dodging and burning. Dodging and burning for me is about dodging your shadows and burning your highlights. It's also all about matching the luminosity values along these tonal variations, which is the highlight shadows and mid-tones. So you have an easy smooth transition from these various tones that I've mentioned earlier. So see what it does. You can literally see here it's quite brighter as compared to the the blush over here. If I'm to convert this image into black and white, you can see that highlight and shadow variation, how bright an area is, how dark an area is. So this is more brighter as compared to this end. And when I move this all the way to 100, just take a look at that. It matches that luminosity for me, making my work so, so easy. It sends me to the next level if I want to work further on this particular image. And this is what's happened. This is before and after. I'm going to jump quickly into eyes because the eyes are the gateway to the soul. I'm going to zoom in all the way to 200%. So you can see what's happening. You can tell there are some red veins in the eye. For any good retouch, because it's a beauty image and it's up in the face of the people you're showing to, you have to be very meticulous and particular about the things you're removing. And the eye, the red veins in the eye or the veins in the eye are something you need to tackle. Alright, so if I move this all the way to 100, it removes all the red veins in the eye. So this is before and after before and after let me fix this and show you how the brightness also plays a role in here this is the brightness 100 it's looking too fake so i'm going to bring it down to say 30 29 30 ish will should do the trick for me i'm going to go into the next function of the hair and here under the hair we'll tackle a better one or we'll tackle the hair using a better image in the next minute or so i'm going to use the hairline feature to streamline the hair for me and take a look at this, this is before and this is after this is before and after if i want to fill the hair gaps we see over here you can use this slider move this all the way to 100 so that you can see the full effect of it and there you have it before and after before and after i love what i am seeing if i want to export this it's easy i hit on export and i can come into custom settings if i want this in jpeg i can have the jpeg version if i want this in a tiff file so i can further work on this particular image i can hit on tiff 16 bit convert to srgb if you don't want to convert to srgb you can check it off when you export you can open this in maybe photoshop if you want to work further in photoshop you can have that work done over there just because you they give you the the they give you the privilege to export in different image formats if you're good to go and you're okay with the edit you've done here you can also export in jpeg they work with the export credit based system where when you export one photo you lose one credit so there's no subscription or monthly subscription involved with using Evoto AI. All you have to do is buy credits. And currently I have 524 credits to use. Initially I had 535 as you can see, total credits over here. They give you the option to purchase more. So the professional ones, I think is 1200 for $83.99. It's a flexible package to use. If you want a smaller version like how I'm using, in my description, there's a link to get this at 36.99 for 
for 500 credits so there's no monthly subscription involved it's not tied to your visa card or whatever card you use to purchase it you buy credits as you go if you don't want if you want to end the subscription or if you want to end the credits use all the credits within a year you're you're viable to using the credit you bought over a, a year span and after a year span even if you've not finished using this you know if to ai considers you and expands or extends your your credits your remaining credits to two years if you've not been able to finish using your credits so i'm going to quickly show you the pricing these are the flexible pricing that are available to you as a photographer there's a thousand two hundred for 8399 like i mentioned and three thousand six hundred nine thousand twenty four thousand seventy five thousand these are flexible enough for every photographer to jump on for me personally i wanted a smaller version so i got 500 credits for 36.99 and if you want to enjoy those benefits for 36.99 link in the description on my youtube you can get that for a particular period of time so what i want to quickly show you next as to how to create a preset so i'm going to hit on save presets currently we have done blemish removal skin retouching we did something about the hair we did something about the eyes so i'm going to create a group let's say let's rename this to tjd presets i like to name stuff after me then i'm going to rename this to beauty edits save you can see portraits retouch and checked because we did everything here in the portraits nothing else has been done in the other adjustment apps i'm going to go to the next beauty image i have come into my presets open the group and hit on beauty edits it's processing and there you have it this is before and after before and after we did something with the hairline we closed all the hair gaps by using this this is what the high cranial top does if i want to increase how much hair there is on the head but i'm going to keep it all the way down one thing i also want to mention which is very good with eboto is there's nothing like an in-app purchase every function you see here is free to use provided you are signed up provided you have the credits and whatnot this is a beta function that has been added as of the recording of this particular video i updated my able to ai recently and i have this beta remove stray hairs under the hair function and let's take a look at how that function works so for the purpose of the tutorial this is going to 100 let's zoom in it did so well this is before and after what it is doing is removing any stray hair in this particular image so these are 36 percent let's fit it you can see two other sliders within figure outlines beyond figure outlines i think beyond figure outlines as the stray hairs flying around within is in the hair and i think around the forehead areas or the edges of the face and it did a splendid job it's going to take so much work off my head when it comes to hair retouching this is mind-blowing it's extremely mind-blowing what i want to show you next is the synchronizing feature so assuming i enjoy this feature i'm going to synchronize it to the next image i'm going to hit i'll make sure i hit on the setting tool to have the things i need to see in the next image so i don't have anything done in the color adjustments i don't have anything done in the ai color adjustments neither the background adjustments nor the clothes and accessory structure so i hit on save then i'll hit on synchronize what it does is it saves whatever it is we've done here and transfers all the adjustments onto the next image so let's wait for this to be done and let's see this also load up evoto ai is based off the internet i think it's a cloud-based 
editing software so you have to be connected to the internet all the time to enjoy all these functions so this is our next image these are all raw images nothing has been done to them no color grading has been done to them so let's take a look at this fixed my hair issue all the flyaway hairs are gone dark circles small lines dodging and burning making sure the eyes are clean and neat let's send this to 200 so we can see what's happening in the eyes before and after let's see the hair before and after take a look at that this is so much better this is a workload of my head and i can't tell you how marveled i am by all these features i want to quickly show you something about their masking capabilities so we'll go to background adjustments and here in the background adjustments i'm going to tackle headshot backdrop changer if i want to clear my backdrop i can have this so this will probably work for those designers who are looking at cutting out their subjects from the backdrop that have been shot on you can have this if i want to change it to a white backdrop i can have this and let me show you how amazing this backdrop changer is let's zoom into the hair follicles over here when i show you the before you can clearly tell if i was going to remove this and any other editing software i have it was going to be very very difficult because of the hair over here the hair follicles over here but take a look at how the masking is done so well i am so amazed guys it ah uh, let's fix this there are options to change the color of the backdrops also so let's hit on more there are gradients backdrops there are blues browns yellows reds green pink let's see pink let's see this pastel pink green these are lovely pastel colors i think i think i i would settle for this if i was going to if i was going to edit this particular image. let's see that for the fabric i'm more of a fabric guy these days let's see a darker version of the fabric this this obviously sells the look i want this is so so mind-bugging guys so interesting I wish in the next update there will be dodging and burning for the lower part of the body. So far, I think that's been done for just a phase. Let's see in the future updates if there's going to be one for the body. And I think it's a one slider solution for me. I'm not going to worry my head about retouching in Photoshop. This is so interesting. Wow. Okay, let's see, for all those who are interested in batch edits, say you create a catalog for a client in the studio on a clean backdrop. For every e-commerce photographer, Evoto is your solution because why am I here in the backdrop adjustment and I'm about to clean the backdrop effortlessly by just toggling these two on. So it auto detects the solid backdrop. It auto detects the banding on it. And so guys, let's increase this to say 100. And let me show you before and after how I clean my backdrop. Before and after. Before and after. If you don't have this feature, been so effortless in any other AI software I've used. There's one there's one mind bugging thing also I want to show you, which is the wrinkle clothing. I have struggled so much when it comes to fixing outfits in Photoshop. And Evoto AI is just doing that with a push of a slider. Assuming you are a commercial photographer you know, creating catalogs for outfits and there are some wrinkles in the clothes. Just take a look at this. This is before, this is after. 
this is before and this is after. I believe some coarse wrinkles are needed to be present, so I'm not going to push that all the way to 100. Coarse wrinkles are the bigger wrinkles on the outfits, the bigger folds. These are sort of making sure the outfit looks authentic on the subject that's wearing it. But if you're not one of a natural editor as I am, you can push this all the way to 100. So for the purpose of the tutorial, let's keep it 100. I'm going to synchronize the clean backdrop and whatever to the next edit. So assuming you've promised the client 15, 20, 30, 40 images to be edited, Evoto AI does so very well with bulk edits because it's 10 times faster with a push of a slider, with the push of a slider. So let's make sure our synchronized settings, we have our background adjustment checked. We didn't do anything in the portrait you touching. And we have clothes and accessories touch up checked. Hit on save, hold command, select the next image and hit on synchronize. And let's watch the magic happen. So as much as you're going to enjoy flexible pricing from what I showed you earlier, any new user is liable to 30 free credits. So I can show you, I have my 500 intact and as you can see, I have 35 extra. So the 35 extra was for me signing up to Evoto to enjoy the functions in Evoto. I still have my 500 credits and I'm here to use them. That's how crazy Voto is. So if you want to enjoy these 30 free credits, there's also a link in my description. Make sure you check it out. Sign up to Evoto. Guys that have synchronized, this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. That's how wow this is. Let me synchronize this over the next two images I have over here. So synchronize. It's going to clean my backdrop. It's going to de-wrinkle the outfit. It's going to make everything look perfect. So it's synchronizing. That's how easy batch edits are going to be these days. This is before and after. You can see on the floor, I have some work done before and after before and after and mind you if i want to change the backdrop i'll come back to the background adjustments and what i would do is to come to headshot backdrop changer it's labeled headshot backdrop changer because mostly it's not going to you know transfer or show the shadows that are showing on the backdrop that's why i like to use the background adjustment but if you want to change your backdrop I want to touch on one thing before I leave. You have unlimited preview for every trial image. So currently, I am trying Evoto out on these raw files I have here in the app. I have not exported them, so I have not lost a credit. Also, when you export the same photo, no matter the edits you apply, if you export and you come back and create a different adjustment, you know what, let's export this particular photo. Let's go to custom settings. Make sure I'm exporting this in JPEG. So I'm going to export this in JPEG. Export. Right. If I have this exported photo, I'm going to create a different adjustment to this. So let's run the portrait editing on this. I'm going to push everything to 100. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to keep anything natural here. I just want to show you how effective this works. Go to skin retouching, smoothen face with dodge and bend, face skin smoothen, body skin smoothen. A little bit of some uniformity and the uh, body complexion i'm going to go into eyes remove red veins brighten it up a little bit 
add some cut lights to the eye as you can see i'm going to go into makeup and add some contour some bits of highlights and then come into contact lenses i like the blue it complements the blue hair then i'm going to go into hair i'm going to see if it fills in the hair gaps I think it's because the blue hair is not noticing the blackness in it. But I can play with the hairline if that's something I'm looking at. And let's come back to blemish removal and push in some face shine removal so that it takes away the face shine in the image. So this is before and after, before and after. Mind you, I've already exported this image. Let's export and let's take a look at my credits. I have 24, 524 remaining credits. I'm going to export this again with the same setting as a JPEG and take a look. When it's done exporting, this is where you get to see if your images are exporting or not. So when it's done exporting, it will go into the completed and as you can see 11.5 and 11.7 currently we are at 11.7 the earlier image was at 11.5 let's go back and I'll hit on this to show you my remaining credits after the export it's the same image the Voto AI recognizes this to be the same image so you don't lose a credit for that let's see the images we have exported so this is what we exported without the portrait retouching but with the ai color look and this is with the ai color look portrait retouching and everything that has to do with retouching this is how effective ai is you also have the option to export in tiff just so that you can work on the image further if you want to do that so maybe in my next video when I talk about Evoto, I'm going to show you guys how I combine Evoto with other editing softwares to enhance better the image I want to preview or show to you guys. So that's right about whatever it is I wanted to talk about when it comes to working with Evoto. Right. So thank you guys for watching this particular video and thank you to Evoto for sponsoring this particular video. So if you're looking at purchasing this this is the amount you need to purchase the 1200 credits if you want the smaller smaller versions like the one i'm using link in the description you're going to get this at 36.99 dollars for those who want to try out evoto a link in my description you're going to that you're going to get 30 free credits if you enjoy it and you want to purchase it you can add up on the credits there's no monthly subscription it's not tied to your card so there's nothing like a deduction after every export you've already paid for the credits and you are viable to using this over the year for whatever reason if you have an issue reach out to the team and they can extend your credits to two years if you haven't finished using them in the year so everything is completely free every action every function that's in a voto there's nothing like an in-app purchase you are viable to using every function as you purchase or as you enjoy Evoto. Thank you so much once again for watching today's video. Subscribe, like, and share. And thank you so much to Evoto for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.